Bitcoin has been on fire. Bitcoin has been rallying. It's been incredibly exciting. There's a lot of buzz in the air, but overwhelmingly, every single expert in the whole financial industry in the global financial industry is saying that 2023 is going to be an absolute recession there's going to be blood in the streets there's going to be panic there's going to be pandemonium but what if everybody is wrong what if 2023 will be different than what all of the experts in the global financial industry what if all of them are going to be wrong what would that look like and what could happen in 20 2023 based on the facts and the charts because Bitcoin is rallying right now and there are a lot of clues that people are missing. In today's video, I'm going to lay out those clues. We're going to talk about the facts and we're going to make an educated guess based on just the facts and the charts, regardless of what all the experts in the global financial industry say. If you're new here, welcome in. My name is Steve. Hit that subscribe button. Let's jump into it. What I'm going to illustrate in this video is we're going to talk about some really, really good news. And then we're going to talk about some really, really bad news. And we'll weigh out the pros and the cons, but we're going to keep it real. So hit that subscribe button and let's jump into it. Right now, Bitcoin has done this with this green line. Down here is the ADX and DI. And for the entire year of 2022, it's been red dominating, meaning the bears were in absolute control and they almost had a death grip on the market, right? So when this red line is on top, prices go down. When this green line is on top, prices go up. It's very simple. For a very short period in 2022, right at the tail end of Q1, we had the green line come up, right? And that's when we rallied from about 37, 36K all the way up to this 48. And if you guys follow our channel, we called for a mega crash to start at 48K, which was completely laughable at the time. A lot of people didn't want to take this call. They, they said that it would never happen. There's no way in hell that we would have a mega crash. And I think, you know, the, the facts in front of us are illustrating that it was, it was quite a mega crash from 48K down to where it is today. But this red line has been dominating the entire year of 2022. And this green line just came out in the most ridiculously powerful fashion that we've had in quite a while. I mean, we've got to go back and just gauging on how high it is, right? right? It's at the 40 level. We haven't been that high in the green since here since February of 2021 was literally the last time that we were that high and it was actually just the same exact level. So since we've been higher than that, it was literally this rally in 2021 that brought us out of the COVID crash, you know, from prices of, of 3,000 up to prices of 60,000. That's literally the last time that we've seen this powerful of green come into the market. It's been since then. And these are not my opinions. I'm not flipping a coin trying to guess. These are the facts that are literally right in front of all of us right now. We cannot deny the facts, right? This level of green hasn't been achieved since February 2021, and it hasn't been higher than that since this rally. Plain and simple, right? So what does this mean? Does this mean we're starting a bull run? Does this mean that the bear market is over? Absolutely not. In terms of the facts and the charts, and we'll cover a couple here, there is no evidence to suggest that the bull run has started. I want to make that really, really clear. There's no evidence yet. We're getting close, but there's no evidence yet so that we're still in a bear market. But I'll say this again. We were waiting for a MACD cross. It was my only wish for Christmas. We followed this chart for months and months waiting for that MACD cross. Why? Every single bear market, we have a beautiful MACD cross when the bottom is already in. Happened in the COVID crash, bottom already in. Happened in the 2019, the MACD cross, bottom was already in when we had that MACD cross. 2015, when we had that MACD cross, bottom was already in. 2012, when we had that MACD cross, bottom was already in. So we had that. That was my only wish for Christmas. We also covered this chart, total market cap holding support, which, which was our resistance in the 2018 rally. It's our support now, which is further evidence that the bottom could be in. Still up for debate. There is no unequivocal facts yet. But again, this green line, we called for it to happen in January. We called for it to happen a few months before it happened. And right on schedule in January, we had this green line. Why is the green line important? Well, every single time we've had the green line before, the bottom is already in. And that was the start of some really cool things to come. So we have to keep level-headed. You know, we can't get too excited on the way up. We can't get too depressed on the way down. 
and I said in the beginning of this video, I have some good news, some really, really good news. We'll celebrate these charts I'm showing you right now, and then we'll take it you know, one step at a time because I do have some bad news with some other charts to show you in a moment. And we'll make sense of all it at the end, and I'll give my honest opinion at the end uh, to help you make sound decisions for your future. But we cannot deny how bullish this was. We didn't just come out, peek our head through in the green. We came out saying like, look at me. Like, I am here, you gotta deal with me, okay? So right now, the bulls are in control, and that's not up for debate, right? The bears have been in control literally all year, all last year, and the start of 2023, we're trying to turn a new leaf. I wanna show you this chart, okay? This is the fear and greed, and we've been covering this chart for years, and it gives us big, big clues as to big momentum shifts, right? So back here, right? in the end of 2020. So literally for the past two plus years, we've been creating a high, a lower high, another lower high, and another lower high, and we built an incredibly strong base at this 20 level, right? After we bottomed out here, in the middle of 2022, we were really building out beautiful market structure. This market structure is phenomenal. It's really phenomenal. And we said, look, in order for us to get a little bit excited, we would have to go off of this base and create a new high, right? A new higher high for the first time in a couple of years. So for a couple of years, we've been downtrending. And this recent pivot high of August of 2020, we just got a higher high for the first time. We took out this recent pivot and this recent pivot and made a higher high. This is a huge momentum shift, okay? We cannot deny how powerful the market structure is here at this 20 level, and we cannot deny that we just made a higher high. And if you look and you study this chart, this chart is very good for momentum shifts, okay? A little bit of head of schedule, momentum shifts will show here, uh, sometimes a little bit more in advance than it does in some other charts. So this is a very large clue as to what could potentially be coming down the pike in 2023, okay? So now that I've showed you some of the good things that Bitcoin is doing, some of the things that we can be excited about, some of the things that illustrate maybe we're turning a corner, that illustrate maybe that the, the bull run is going to start soon. We know that it, there's no official evidence that it started yet, um, and I stand behind that because there is no evidence yet, but there is some evidence that it's coming close. But now let's get to some of the bad news, right? Or should I say some things to be concerned with? Now we're on a weekly chart here and what we have in front of us, we have a yellow line and we have a red line. And what we've done in 2015 is this fractal pattern is very, very, very familiar to us because in 2022, we had this cross down, which signaled our market bottom. And then what's happened is we had the re first rejection, a second rejection, a third rejection from this yellow line. 2022, a first rejection, a second rejection, a third rejection. After our third rejection, we plowed through this yellow line for the first time in years, right? You can see in 2015, the whole bear market, we were below this holding as resistance. And we had this small period where we were above and the same here, right? And as soon as we crossed down, one, two, three rejections, one, two, three rejections, and right on cue, we're breaking through it now, okay? Now there's good and bad news here, right? The good news is it did plow through, it did plow through in a phenomenal fashion, but then it came back down to form our technical double bottom. Will that happen? Will we have a, a triple bottom? We'll have to see, but this low was actually slightly lower than this one. So could we actually conceivably have some sort of a, of a mega crash after this nice rally, we could. So there's good news and bad news to that. The good news is it provided literally the best oppor opportunity, buying opportunity of your life. The bad news is it played with everybody's emotions because there's a lot of people that are waiting for 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, and they, be, they may be waiting forever, their whole life. And unfortunately, they may buy back in when Bitcoin is at like 45,000, which is usually the case in, in investing. But make no mistake, this could play out. And we have one more chart here um, to illustrate. We're on the weekly chart with Bitcoin, and this is the Super Guppy. You can see the Super Guppy went from green here to this gray period to this red period. And same here, this 
on your right is 2022. We had this green period and then gray period and then red period. This is 2015. This is 2022. So let's put 2015 up at the top here. Let's put 2022 up at the top here. And that way everything is clear. And then you can see we're pound for pound repeating 2015 so far, right? We went from this gray period into this red period, right? And we had our first bottom here. And then we played up into this area here when we started to turn orange. That's what happened right into this period. We had our bottom here. We went up to this orange bottom here. And this is where we had this bullish divergence. Technical bottom one, bottom two, according to this chart right here. Now you can see what's happened since then, right? We're in this kind of zone here where we're rallying into the red for the first time in many, many years, right? rallying into the red. We've never rallied into the red prior to that. You've got to go back to the previous bear market cycle to really realize that. Rallying into the red is very, very rare. It happened in 2015. We're rallying into the red as we speak. Like as we speak, we're rallying into the red, right? So what happened in 2015 after that period? Well, we rallied into the red and then we came back down to form another bottom. And that could very well be the case. You know, could Bitcoin rally from uh, where it is now and then turn a corner and plummet all the way down to 15K? It's definitely a possibility. It will be an emotional roller coaster. It will weed out more weak hands. It will weed out some other bad crypto companies that will go bust. And that's really good for the market. It's very healthy for the market. So we could have a very volatile situation like that play out again. So just be prepared. You never want to get too excited on the way up. You never want to get too depressed on the way down. You want to stick to the facts. You want to make sound decisions. We clearly have some good news coming into the market. There's no denying that. It looks like Bitcoin has potentially turned a corner. It looks like the bottom could very well be in. It's still up for debate. But we also could plummet in prices to retest our bottom to form even a stronger base and then start our bull run. So that could be in the cards. Stay tuned. We will cover it piece by piece. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you right back here on the next video. Peace and love to the fellow underdogs. Do you want to know when to buy and when to sell? Click this video right now.